Hello and welcome to Mayhem. We're back playing Disco Elysium in the the uh, what's become the standard Dan doesn't decide template where I don't make any choices, where the rest of Mayhem makes all the choices. And uh, we're back after well, has it been a week or two weeks since we last played? It's been a it's been at least a week. It's two been weeks, what right? two weeks? At yeah. least two weeks. Yeah. Uh, Maybe. I'm gonna... I'm going to adjust Deli's volume real quick because I was doing that and then ran into problems. Uh, yes. So let me get off this screen. I'm struggling. I'm out of practice. Here yeah, obviously you couldn't get the audio working. Well, Twist Studio suddenly started being a jerk right before we started, and I realized I couldn't hear y'all in, in, in the broadcaster. Uh and now oh. we're back. We're back in the game. Let's do our roll call question. Today's, tonight's question is, what is something you can never seem to finish? Hello, everybody. I'm Dudley. Welcome to my show. Um, What can I never seem to finish? Here lately, just any video game. <laughs> any any <laughs> game. <laughs> Children just make it impossible to make any progress on anything. <laughs> so, wasn't that true during your podcast too? What? Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that true during your podcast too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The podcast about video games. Yeah, yeah. I, I did. <laughs> I did play games during the more. I played more during the podcast than I did now. Now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you never said you had to finish them for the podcast. Yeah, no. I just had to play them. So. We just had to form an opinion. <laughs> uh, to be fair, your children have doubles, so... Yes, they have. <laughs> uh, they've, they've increased twofold, twofold <laughs> since, since the end of the podcast, which has almost been two years now since we ended the podcast. Yeah, we've been doing the stream for almost two years now. Oh. Um, but yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I, I most recently in games I have not finished, but have started, is uh, probably Starfield. Also started Diablo Four, and I've started. Uh, uh, what was I playing before that? Can you get Jedi Survivor? I did finish that one. I did well, finish okay. that one. Right. So, uh, um, yeah, yeah. I start a lot of games, and then I don't have a lot of time for them. And then a new game comes out, and I go, okay. Well, I've done fairly well not to buy new stuff, but until this week. This week, I, I bought Baldur's Gate 3, so I'm going to put some time on that one. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Robert, and... And I have a problem. Thing... <laughs> and my problem is also not finishing games, but I'm going to say specifically role-playing games. Yeah. Um, there are certain games that I, I need to get back to, but role-playing games I seem to have a particular hard, particularly hard time sticking to it, not restarting to do a, make a new character or change some choice I made early on. Uh, and, and then... Also, not just video games, but also just in real life role playing games because uh, scheduling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Different problem, but <laughs> yeah. similar subject matter. Yeah. Robert, how long did it take for you to finish Half Life 2? Oh, I don't even remember. <laughs> it took it seemed, like, it seemed like a couple of years. It people, was many, many were, years. People had long uh uh gotten annoyed about half-life 3 no longer coming out uh by the time i finished half-life 2 <laughs> oh wow yeah it was years, years now, to be fair years. to be fair i th I, th I finished the actual game it was not the, too the long but, but getting through episode one and two for some reason i just i, I don't even remember what the problem was well, you kept you restarting like the the third one or something like that 
No, that wasn't it. No, I no, think no. you just kept starting over for some reason. You'd, like, you'd take a break for a while, and you're like, well, I'm going to start from the beginning, and then you would like start over. That's my yeah, memory. Yeah, that's, that's my problem with most games, really. If I take too long of a break from it, I'm like, eh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restart it, which is bad to do with role-playing games because there's too much in there. Yeah. <laughs> It takes too long to get through it, and yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> I don't do that with role-playing games, because uh, I treat them like books. I just pick up wherever I left, and I figure I'll remember it as uh, I go. Well, hey, guess what I have bad habit with with books? Not fishing. <laughs> if, if I don't go through to it straight I, I have some advice for you, Robert. Yeah? So, uh, if you would make more time for these things and stop playing Sea of Thieves, you would have a lot of time <laughs> to do those things. <laughs> how, how many years have you been playing Sea of Thieves? Uh, I don't even know now. <laughs> like, a couple. Pandemic, at least, yeah. Since, yeah, since your I, second I child has been alive. <laughs> uh... To be fair, I don't put that much into Sea of Thieves. It's just really easy to pick up and come back to because there's not an ongoing story. It's just yeah. whatever yeah. bullshit I get up to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just feel like being a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> it Diablo is that way for me. I can just go back to it and pick up wherever I was, and I'm like, yep, go kill things. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> like the, even the story, the story and lore elements in Sea of Thieves, just like I, I don't need this. This is <laughs> this is window dressing. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, uh, I I'm Ham, and my answer is um, Berserk. I thought about this because it what it hasn't been finished. You'll never finish it. Yeah. Technically, the creator can't finish it either. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was one of those things where I kept trying to catch up on it, and every time, every time since like probably I was in high school, I would read a whole bunch of it online, and I don't pay for it. Um, <laughs> oh my god, Pam. piracy! Yeah, I, it's not my fault that there's a readbezerk.com. Uh, <laughs> and now you're advertising for them. It's probably .net now. They changed it up. <laughs> and every time I do, I try. To, I just start over, and so I never actually finish it because it's been so many years since each one. I'm like, I don't remember what the fuck happened, and I get a little bit farther every time. I'm gonna go I, and read it and finish it before you do. I've uh, I've done this as well. I've started Berserk, and I got pretty far into it. And yeah, that's like four hundred chapters or something like that, and they're all. 20, 30 pages. Yeah, they're, they're pretty long. Yeah, this one... Let's see, how many? <laughs> it, it's not that important. Right, but, go but, ahead, you can continue. But, uh, but I will say that I will go and finish it before you do. <laughs> and I, just have much, okay. I just have too much time on my hand. That's not entirely true, but... <laughs> I think you do. For uh, what you've been saying, I don't think you do. I don't, I don't. There are bursts where I have, like, two days where I have nothing to do, and I just binge a bunch of stuff. Uh, that's what happens when I'm away from my my wife. <laughs> it's like, well, I got nothing to do. I'll just watch everything. Um, I'm Dan. I'm the, I'm the person who doesn't decide anything in this game, and I'm... Uh, the thing... I'm trying to think of something good. I, I, I too, don't finish a lot of games. Uh, usually it's puzzle games. Because I love them, but it's one of the things that you kind of develop the skills of the, doing the puzzles as you go. And then I get off of it, and I come back to it, and I'm like, oh, I don't remember how to do anything, and I have to start over. Uh, but I have lots of books that I've started and not finished. The one that comes to mind, the one that comes to mind to me that I've always wanted to go back and finish, and uh, partly because my wife just listened to it as an audiobook, uh, is The Count of Monte Cristo. Mm. I read, started reading it in high school, got halfway through, and I was like, I don't know what the fuck is going on, and stopped reading it. And I remember a friend of ours, Josh, was reading it as well, and he had, like, kept notes. Like, had notes of who all the characters and who they were and what they were doing. Because there's also, like, this, like, 
characters pretending to be other characters so you don't really know who they are half the time it always it's actually somebody and you don't realize i don't know it was just convoluted and i was like i don't know what's happening and i want to read this and i just never finished it so maybe i'll <laughs> give it and my my wife read it and was like it's very dramatic <laughs> and i'm like well yeah i mean the time period sure was it written it, it time period it was written and uh, you know uh the, i said the movie's pretty dramatic she's never seen it so i've we talked about it. we should watch it at some point with uh, Jim Caviezel. The movie. And... Oh Lord! Then you can you can like three hand it with <laughs> the Passion of the Christ. Oh God! Count of Monte God. Cristo and Sound of Fury. Oh God! No, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I'll, I'll stick with just the Count of Monte Cristo, which is the only <laughs> Jim Caviezel movie we ever need to see. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure there are other good ones, but it's the only one I care about. <laughs> I just know he was in that one cop show where, like, computers told them where the crimes would happen or something like that. Uh, yeah, Minority Report? No, the one with the guy from uh, Lost. Yeah, yeah, had had uh, uh, Ben from Lost. Mm. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, that's it. It, like, would predict like who was going to commit a crime uh, but they, they couldn't uh -huh. do anything until they had proof that the crime was being planned or something like that i don't know what the only thing i again? know about this show person, person of, interest. of interest that's it yeah i remember yeah. starting it and thinking oh this might be good but i don't i didn't get very far the only thing i know about that show is that there's a character on it who is a woman that uh, is basically like in love with the ai <laughs> and she's Hard. like kind of a villain it's really it sounds really weird huh I, I remember when it came out thinking, oh, this might be interesting, and I'm watching a couple episodes and just not getting into it and didn't watch any more of it. But it, it ran for five a while. years. Yeah, it ran for a while. I'm looking at it now. It ran for five years. Oh, uh, definitely our Wikipedia. Yeah. Well, I was on. I was already on it with uh, Berserk. With <sighs> there are 373 issues, by the way. Oh, jeez. I thought they were up to like 385 or something. Yeah. Yeah. I read a bunch, but I don't know. I have no clue where I was, so I'd have to like probably start over. Start over. And, <laughs> which I have most of it in digital form somewhere. Uh, it's one of those reads that's up and down. I don't know that I'd recommend it to anyone. <laughs> I enjoyed it's, it, but it's there, sometimes... there are a lot of long stretches where not much is happening, and it's weird. <laughs> Um, I just, there's things about it as you're older that you might be kind of like, oh, yeah. oh, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, I don't want to get past this. It's like things that you, as you mature as a human being, you go, oh, I don't enjoy this as much as you're used to. Like Tarantino movies. <laughs> Tarantino movies. There's a lot of them. Feet. <laughs> you, what, are you just noticing this? You're just catching up on that, Dudley? Yeah. No, I have been yeah. aware. It was a joke. <laughs> feet, feet, and choking women. Oh, to be fair, supposedly she asked him to, but eh. I don't know. <laughs> also, why Jackie Brown's one of his best movies? That's like his uh, first one too, isn't it? Third one. Yeah, third one. Third third one. one. Reservoir Dogs is surprisingly more or less fifteen-year-old than the others. Yeah. It's funny, I saw a clip of Tarantino recently and he was just like, yeah, I was just making these movies and I'm surprised people like them. <laughs> it's like, he doesn't even understand why people <laughs> like them. <laughs> I'm, just, like, well, least, I'm just a pervert you know. making movies. People <laughs> watch them. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I never thought people would enjoy this stuff. <laughs> That's basically it. I was like, well, it's, you know. At least you know. <laughs> I want to draw y'all's attention to this. Uh, I just noticed as I'm looking at the journal that's got, you know, I was going to pull up our, our uh, list of things. But before we go into that, I wanted to look at this officer profile I've never noticed here. It's a name unknown, rank unknown, <laughs> and then we have all these little stats, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, eight and five. <laughs> super, superstar cop, seven. I don't know what that means. Apocalypse cop, one. Sorry, cop two, boring cop zero. So we haven't been boring. Well, yeah, we're not boring. Uh, communist eight, 
We're doing, they're doing, <laughs> we're doing good by the big communism. And uh, fascist, no. Ultra liberal, no. Moralist, one. <laughs> then we got good cop, bad cop at eleven. Honor is not a thing. People killed three. Case. Oh, yeah. oh this is in our yearbook. Okay. Yeah, people killed three. Cases solved two sixteen, and we've been on the service eighteen years. Okay. <laughs> but we don't know our rank or oh, our yeah. name. We have no idea what our name is or our rank. Has uh, someone told us our name in the game? Pretty they, sure, yeah. Hey, yeah. I don't know if we've trusted what they've told us. I think that's what it is. I, we yeah, haven't I internalized that... it. We're still whatever the name was. I can't remember it now. Uh, Harry. Harry is what we were. Th is the real name, I think. But... Uh, yeah, but that's not our name. We're. I forget what it is. Something. <laughs> oh, it's bugging me. I can't remember it. Alyssa, okay, so here is on the docket of things that we still have left to do. We have find speed and sniff it. <laughs> we uh, ask him to tell us about the case. Where is the rest of the armor? The jam mystery. What is this? That we were... Oh, uh, the smuggling the, with the yeah. tra traffic jam thing. Okay. Yeah, Joyce Inve wants us to Investigate that. the doomed uh, commercial area, which is report back to Placience, which is, I think, what we were doing. So we yep. came to the bookstore. Find money to pay rent for... For rent and pay Gart, so we need uh, 20 way out, which we, I think we have. Uh, let me say, track down our badge. We still don't know where it is. Who put the clothes in the trash? Uh, yeah, the victim clothes in that trash. Uh, so, and then it's Joyce. We gotta get her on to tell us about the lynching, but she's being tight lipped until we do the jam mystery thing. The victim's tattoo. Uh, who made figure out who made the call for the report the crime? Uh, explore the whirling secret passage. Uh, sing karaoke, which we have to find a, a sad song on tape to do. Get two signatures for Everhart, which I don't think we have to do. Buy FLN pants from Kuno. He got them <laughs> pants. Uh, the smoker on the balcony. Which, uh, oh, it's after, it's after 2100 today. And it tracked down the gun. <laughs> Keep looking. Maybe someone else knows something. <laughs> so, that refreshed everyone's memory. The things we got to do. What yeah, we, I think. What are we thinking, deciders? Uh, I think we were going to report the cursed district stuff yeah. to the bookkeeper. The, yeah, right, everyone else on board with that. Bookseller, bookmonger. Yeah. Chine this in her face. All right, everyone on board with it? Sure. Yes, yeah, sure. What have you found? And also, do buy the books. There may be teachings in them. <laughs> she seemed unsure. <laughs> I see, we've said this one before. Oh, I have a few more questions about the curse books. That might be where we have to go. Oh, no, okay. So we have, what if I want to buy a book? Uh, your daughter is the one standing outside the store, right? Uh, I talked to the entity you told me about. Her name is Nia, and she has a novel. She is a novelty dice maker, and that's all. I don't think we should tell her. I don't think we should tell her about the entity. No. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, I. What think... if she tries to get her like kicked out or something? Uh, I think we should go with four. So we got one for four and one's against four. What are you thinking, Rob? <laughs> uh, I don't. I think the only way we're gonna close this or succeed is by doing four. Uh, I don't see any other way of doing what it. What if we so buy a do, book? I mean, we could ask about it real quick. What are y'all saying then? So Ham saying two. Dudley said four. Oh, yeah, I say buy a book. Uh, uh, let's ask about books, sure. Okay. Then why are you talking to me? Everything is on the shelves to browse. Don't you feel compelled to buy anything? <laughs> See those shelves there? She's Go, fiddling with her pendant. <laughs> She's trying to use the pendant to make us buy stuff. So what types <laughs> of books do you have? Okay, I'll take another look then. One. One. Everything is on yeah. the shelves. Take a look yourself. The shelves compel you, don't they? 
<laughs> See, I don't want to feed into this bullshit. <laughs> the power of literature compels you. <laughs> our, our only option is, okay, I'll take another look at that. She then. smiles and nods, seemingly relieved. <laughs> Did not expect that to be voiced. Um, I'm going to say four. Four. A novelty dice maker? Well, spit it out. Why does she need the dice? For some kind of sorcery? Sometimes they use the ankle bones of sheep. <laughs> she's not a sorceress or some malicious entity. She's a businesswoman like you. No, ma'am. I have felt her aura. She is not the one to blame for this curse. <laughs> she may be involved, but I don't have any way of questioning the malignant in entity further. Jeez. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lady. Two. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with two. <laughs> yes. I felt her aura. Yes. Oh, jeez. I don't understand. If it's not her, then where is the source of the doom? How did she explain the curse? Before oh my you God, say she's so anything, stupid. ask yourself, is the woman really able to withstand the truth? <laughs> Just don't say you don't have any answer yet. The uncertainty is killing her. <laughs> she says... There is no curse because there are too many inconsistencies. Lie. The source is in the taxidermist shop. He become he became involved in the arts of dark in art darker than taxidermy and brought the void spirit down upon this place. Uh, honestly, I don't have any answers yet. There are still leads to be followed, like a strange radio computer thing. There is another entity, more malignant. Pulling the strings in Martinez. Perhaps in my travel, I will cross paths with it. <laughs> uh, either one or two for me. It's like I'm one in or the other. I'm leaning towards four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the taxidermist shop. What the fuck? Um, okay. I mean. If we say one, though, because our, was our body warning us not to tell her one? Let's see. Uh, the, before you say anything, as you Oh, don't, don't say three. Know. Don't say three. Yeah, I think, or, or suggestion was saying don't say three. Endurance is basically saying don't tell the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to go with two. I still think four. So we got two uh, and no. four, Ham. What are you thinking? <laughs> I was going to say one. Oh, 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 Dan. Oh, no. I, you I, have I, to eliminate one. I have to eliminate one. See, I was just about to say how much I enjoy not having to make decisions, and now y'all make me make a decision. Uh, she says there's no curse because there are too You're many. You're not decisions. making a decision, Daniel. You're eliminating I'm options. Sorry. I'm sorry. Um, You're narrowing the field. Uh, I don't know. This is a tough one. Um, I really don't think it is. <laughs> we're just we're just opinionated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to eliminate uh, number four. I think that's kind of oh, close to oh. saying you don't know anything. All right. All right. Two. Hmm. What were you leaning towards, Ham? One. Just tell her to get a fucking grip. <laughs> so one and two. Do we tell her the truth or do we lie? Uh... Mm, dang it, now I have to decide. Uh -huh. uh, I liked four. <laughs> dang it. Okay. How the um... turntables turn. <laughs> <laughs> I guess two. Okay, we're lying to this lady. Oh, how horrid. I knew something wasn't right about that place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Tell me, did you find a way to break the curse? Well, yeah. Now y'all yeah. stepped in it. <laughs> yeah, I de-spooked it. The curse is definitely gone. I'm afraid that I can only identify the source, but you have to call some <laughs> other expert to lift the curse. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm afraid someone's gonna take advantage of her if, like, <laughs> leave it to someone else. 
I don't know if she'll buy number one, but. <laughs> I'm going to go with one. We got one vote for one. One. Mm. All okay. right. There we go. What does that mean? Are you certain? Oh, but who am I to question your methods? <laughs> she looks like about it. Sudden oh. admiration. All that oh. matters is that the energies are retreating. I can already feel the curse lifting. It will be a long time until we're fully free of it, of course. But still. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Truly, you've brought a better psycho emanation to this humble bookstore. And that's no small achievement. There we go. We helped her with her stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. My God. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Should we return to our ordinary lives? <laughs> <laughs> the shop around you feels ancient suddenly. Damp and saturated by the coastal air. The books are rotting. A great cold lives here. And there, too. 1,200 meters away on the urban coast. The dark shape of a church is reflected on the water. Calling. Hmm. Mm. The ch dark church is calling us. All right, so the only option we have left to explore is your daughter is online standing outside the store, right? Uh, and then, Or we can move on. Uh, I say move on. We got one vote move for on. move on. Yep. Yeah, it's move on. So we got a skill point. Let's see, we closed up. We finished that off. Okay. But we did get a skill point. We got one to spin. Are we ready to spin? Or are we ready to... Spin, spin, spin. <laughs> Actually, what can we do? Uh, we we haven't put anything in anything in a while because we were just unlocking slots earlier. Yeah, yeah, we were working on the internalization slots, which are coming along. Um, is there any skill checks that we want to retry by leveling up? Yeah, let's look at that. Let's see. Uh, if I think it's a map. Let's see, which one's a lock? To say. Oh, it did. Oh, the white ones are available now. Yeah. So I imagine. I thought it said, but it doesn't look like it's. Oh, geez. Ooh. What the hell is up with this scroll thing? Here you go. I think we we <laughs> so we, we, we unlocked it. The, we unlocked this one again because I think we. We we did it to unlock the wall one, but we got this one as well because we gave that point to that. Oh right, right. So I think any of the grayed out ones are the ones that we we can. So we got the mirror, which requires encyclopedia. We got the kuno, which requires empathy. Uh, we got visual calculus. It's footprint in the dust. Mm. Huh. We got. Trash container, which we haven't been able to open, despite our physical instrument being fairly high. I think we did uh, open it. We just used the key. <laughs> yeah, we used the key. We did. If we didn't break it open. Uh, something with Kim, requiring volition. No, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Horseback monument. I don't know what's up with that. In fact, oh, that's uh, the one that we were looking at. And we couldn't figure remember what it was the other stuff. Uh, and then back to conceptualization of the wall that we couldn't understand. We still didn't understand after we tried again. And then Annette, which is... I don't remember who Annette is. That's the girl in the... Oh, in the... Uh, in the, the whirling? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, maybe. Maybe in the whirling. So any of these think... Uh, the ones that are... Yeah, so any of these we want to put points in... I don't feel like any of these are especially pressing. Sticking out, yeah. Well, the I only mean, thing I can think of is the thing that gives it the most is empathy, because there's two of them with empathy. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, because I, I think the mirror was to try to change the expression on our face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm afraid of what it would become if we changed the expression on our face. Uh uh empathy no or uh, not empathy in like oh we already got one in encyclopedia well, we, we got another, another we got another slot for it 
Mm. Do y'all want to think about it? Mm. Uh, what if we even? Mm. <laughs> what's our empathy? What's our empathy? Where is it? Empathy is under psyche. That's right there. We have two points. Yeah, we have fit a base of two, and that's it. We're doing great on authority. <laughs> <laughs> the exact amount of authority we need. <laughs> Where is the authority? I'm trying to find. Right next to empathy. It's right next to empathy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's. I believe it's the lack of pants. Wrong. Oh, and, from and some of the thoughts we've gotten have, have stripped up us about our authority. So yeah, we're not we're not doing so hot on that. We're really good at this um, stuff, but we don't seem to use it much. <laughs> yeah, that's why we put all the points in it. Uh, uh, um, I what think. If we, what if we put a point in like logic or something? Yeah, I was, well, I was wondering maybe we do something random. Drama. Let's put one point in drama. It'll be really goddamn dramatic. <laughs> At my boat, drama. Play the actor, lie and detect lies. Hmm. Right. The think is probably useless, but I don't think anything on our other list had drama as it. Uh, I, I, I'm okay with whatever. Um, I Pam, do you have any strong opinions? I don't know what to do with drama. What does it affect? Uh, uh, lying a... and detecting lies. Yeah. That's what I uh, said right here. Let's put a point in drama. Sure. <laughs> Maybe we can figure out if people have been lying to us. Oh, jeez. Okay. One point for drama. Here we go. Okay. We still suck at it, but it's fine. All right, anything else you want to do here, or do we want to Hey, Dan. On? Hey, yeah. Dan. Yeah. If you want to make decisions, you can start a new game and do it on your own time. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I would start by wearing pants and shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me take your jacket off. <laughs> you got, uh, you got, it, you got a great shirt, though. Oh, that's right. Can't be mad about the shirt. Yeah, I forgot that it's a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beauty of video games, though. You don't have to wear pants in public. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no one seems to care. Take advantage of it. Well, I also know you're, we're, we're police people. So. Alright, what are we doing? Uh... Um, like, pull up the list of objective. Let's pick something. Wait, can, can we uh, talk to the smoker yet? No, we can't do that yet until after tw tonight, like after 2100. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, Could go try that ice machine again. Oh, Are yeah, you? yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Not do that because it's been, it's been, it's okay. been, we slept, so it's been a while. Okay, I'm going to go around this side and, instead of having and, to go and make and sure we up. have the crowbar in hand when we do it. <laughs> All right, I'll equate. What should I put in the crowbar in place of? Uh, the light. You got one for the light? Uh, the, the bag. <laughs> Ham. Oh. Um, no. Uh, the light. We can't let go of our hobo bag. That would be against brand. <laughs> All right, here you go. This orange machine is dead still. It has a hand-cranked ice cream churner and an electric freezer. The ice around it is oh. melting. Oh, the pry bar is not strong enough, it says. Negative 20. That's, that's what our problem was. Yeah. I remember that now. Okay, maybe we'll Sorry. Wait. Sorry, I'm um, got Okay, so what's what's what, what's happening? I'm sorry. Uh, no, uh, we probably are, we need still. a better uh, instrument a to crack it open. And an electric freezer, the ice around it, slowly uh, melting. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah, it's a big, pretty big minus. Okay. No, I don't think we can do it. I don't think it's worth it. 
do it with our bare hands. <laughs> uh, right here, here's a random idea. Um, we need music for karaoke. Why don't we see if the pawn shop has any? Because that's for sale. Okay. We pretty well explored the pawn shop. I just don't remember seeing I don't, anything. I don't think we we talked to the guy a lot. I don't remember looking at other than the the shirts. I don't remember looking at. Did we? I don't remember. I don't remember there being much other option to the shirt, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, okay. We'll pull up the dang list again. Uh, mm. Pants. Uh, Uh, speed I... and sniff it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's one that says find speed and sniff it. <laughs> yeah, because apparently we were high as balls all day yesterday. Uh, yeah. He could. Um, the the people are the the likely murderers are likely meeting right now in the the hotel. All oh, right. We could maybe go mess with them. Kyle, I'll try to talk to him. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, why not? Daniel stares longingly at the shoe. Mm hmm. Shall we look at the objects in the room? The balls. There's spit in it. Reeking of tobacco. Oh. We got window. You see Hawthorne's bushes outside him. Hmm. Oh. Uh, photos of men in overalls toting guns and union placards. All right, so we got... So, so... Uh, oh, there's a window. We what, can interact with the window. window. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like, I wonder if we can go to the other side and just eavesdrop. Mm. Find a window. Behind the, the dock workers, a ceiling height window. The hawthorn branches scrape the glass like bony fingers. So we got squint, we got perception, it's negative 12, it's not time yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. mysterious, mysterious door scene, uh, ecosahedral dice set serenes. Sirens. That's Sirens. The, uh, that's the first set of uh, dice we got from mm. the dice maker. Yeah. Re revert your gaze. One. Yeah, one. There's a little slide panel up there to let some air in. No need to open it in spring. It's still too cold outside. Hmm. Well, this is really pretty much impossible. Yeah, I don't want to waste yeah. that check. And besides, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. I mean, I, I, I trust that. Yeah. It'll be time eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, we, okay. so we got right. guy to talk to. Oh, I talk just to the guy over here. It's the chef. Over here. Oh, snap your finger. Oh. Oh, okay. Do we go talk to the lady that snapped at us? Yeah. Always talk to ladies that snap at you. Let me handle <laughs> this. You are far oh. from home, Lieutenant. This isn't a district known for its love of self-proclaimed militiamen. Wait, and you are enough. Let's talk seriously. I mean, huh? no, I mean no trouble. I'm here to do my job. That's all. Two. Three. All right, Ham. Three. Not a muscle moves in her face, but her eyes trace yours, stern and perceptive. You are looking for Titus Hardy, who you think has information on a murder the RCM is investigating. You want to interview him. Points to the man standing in the middle of the room. That's Titus. <clears throat> Talk to him, but know this. I'll be keeping an eye on you. No strong arming, nothing official. The district of Martinez 
does not recognize your authority to make arrests. It doesn't matter if oh. you recognize our authority. I was say. We will make an arrest if we have to. <laughs> I was gonna she say, are we just allowed nothing. to not recognize the police? Speaks of her. <laughs> What's your role in all this? What if I want to talk to you and not Titus? What are you going to do? What are you going to do to me? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> why are you so? Why are you so aggressive? I should talk to Titus then. I should talk to Titus then. Three. God, oh, jeez. Got two and a three. three. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the lieutenant is not satisfied with this with the the approach. What are we going to do to you? <laughs> the union isn't going to do anything to you. It is not a crime syndicate. It is a labor organization. Uh huh. Goddamn right it is. <laughs> if anything, it is the RCM who do things to people. But we digress. All right. Two, one. Two, two and one. One. Obviously, I'm a lawyer. A legal counselor for the Dock Workers Union. I would urge you to consider what you say to my clients. <laughs> mm. Robert wanted two, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, if anyone else. Is yeah, do two. Yeah. What you want is of no significance, officer. Don't test your authority. In Martinez, you are no one. Hmm. Three. Uh, I've got one for three. Four. One three. Four. <laughs> Aggressive. <laughs> you make your living enforcing violence. These people are just dock workers. Do dock workers spy on the police? You were on that corner all day. Now we know why. Just dock workers. <laughs> We've talked to Evar Claire. We know who these men are. The Union's militant wing. Listen, you moral intern lackeys. You're a mob enforcing the unlawful privatization of Revishal. Twenty fat men in the Occident are stealing it all, and you're their bodyguards. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so ask what you came to ask, or get back to your commanders. <laughs> the world needs a financial buffer zone. No need to get emotional. <laughs> the privatization is not unlawful. It's cool and funny. Maybe you just need. You're just not a. <laughs> maybe you're not. Oh Jesus Christ! Maybe you're just not historic in, in, individuals. That's a weird phrase. I don't know where you heard that, but it's wrong. The RCM is principled <laughs> and strong, unlike you socialist. I like that. Good start. Let's take a step further. Armed uprising. What are the what are the union's plans? <laughs> let's do the big communism. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's ask those questions. Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Did y'all say that at the same time? Yes. Alright, yes. I guess we're doing four. Look, a comedian. Do your job. <laughs> ask your uh, questions. Then get out of Martinez. I don't know if you can see the achievement that just popped up. It's big communism something. What it biggest is. communism. Biggest communism. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Strange. It's as if people don't believe a cop could be a socialist revolution. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the drama already paying off. It already is. Sorry, well, I guess this is the only option we have. Yeah, it was biggest communism builder. It was the... Yeah, there it is. So, yeah, yeah. Shall we talk to Titus, or are we bored with this? Uh, let's talk to Titus. He's probably yeah, going to be like, here. Oh, yeah, and that's about it. This is where you say your bed. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. Detective. The, the lieutenant acknowledges you with a sharp note. He leaves this to you. Don't say anything yet. 
First, we need to talk about your attitude. <laughs> or three, we need to talk about the man hanged out back. One. One. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? hey, dipshit. Yeah, you hard of hearing or something? The boss man's talking to you. Cross your arms. <laughs> One. One. <laughs> what, is he fucking kidding? This guy <laughs> high or something? <laughs> if only. Hey, asshole, up here. We're talking to you. We are looking for Titus Hardy. <laughs> Alright, so we go back to the original options. Two. Uh, two. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Oh, this is about him. A real looker, that one. <laughs> Oh, he said ham. Like, it's a, <laughs> talking about ham. You sure took your time, mm. huh? Waited for him to get real ripe and pretty for you. Oh, he was a real pretty boy. Hanging up there, letting out that pretty boy smell. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I can't for the life of me mm. understand why you did it. I mean, I would have just left him up there. You must really like cleaning up other people's shit. You might want to start asking your questions now. It's not going to get better than this. Questions? <laughs> to hell with that. Question? Get right up in the big dick's face. Physical confrontation. Scan the room. <laughs> Take an aggressive step closer. The man hanging in the backyard. Did you do it? I'm going to take off now. <laughs> <laughs> scan the room. Yeah, scan the room. No, no, no. I's here. You got business with my boys. You got business with me. Yeah. You fuck with the Hardy boys. You fuck with Titus Hardy. Relax, Dennis. No one is fucking you yet. <laughs> yeah, Dennis, calm down. No one's fucking you, you stupid fuck. <laughs> Let Dennis enjoy his fucking man. We don't mind. <laughs> He's got gang tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even being fucked, Dennis. <laughs> Easy, fellas. We got company. Let's see what brings the cop around. Too late. You already scanned the room. You got a pretty good picture. Oh, there we go. Perception. Oh. One. A, pic what? a picture of what? Of One. the actors here. You could take another look at the tracks in the mud on the crime scene. Compare it to these guys. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Alright, we're back to the original set. Mm. Part of me wants to take an aggressive step forward. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to try it. Yeah. I'm. I, let's do it too. I got one for two. Two. Uh, yeah, right, two. Here we go. The room is silent. Get it started. Linda does not flinch. Get further in there. <laughs> Escalate. Tilt your head from side to side. Crack your neck. Or de-escalate. <laughs> <laughs> one. One. <laughs> we're, we're putting that physical instrument... Into, One. into use. Yeah. What the fuck is this? You wanna fuck with me? Open and close your fist. Shift your center of balance from one leg to, to another. Two. 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 His eyes narrow. His right hand starts tapping a quick little rhythm on his thigh. This guy's tough. Get the eye twitch going. You need to look Scared. <laughs> engage, <laughs> I, engage, I twitch. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You hear. But his mouth isn't moving. It's the tension in his shoulders speaking. What are you doing? I can do this all night long. His clenched fists say, their knuckles turning white. I'm young. You're 50,000 years old. Do not explain or defend yourself. Attack. Oh, shit. 
In the time... In that time I have killed more than once, I can feel it in me, the ugly. <laughs> With all the bu abuse I've taken, I'm still walking, talking, and ready to get into this fight. At my age, you will be dead. You're impulsive. You'll, be in a f you'll get in a fight you won't win. Is, um, hmm. Hmm. I kind of love all these choices. Yeah, I know. They're not bad choices. Uh, I'm leaning towards three. Yeah. I'm feeling it too, but what do you think, Graham? Three. Yeah, three. All right. Let's do it. I would have picked one. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I need to be like this to lead them. Something you would understand. The moment ends. With begrudging respect, the man leans back. Time to say something. Mm. Time to say, I'm going to take off now. <laughs> <laughs> you. You. <laughs> the pretty boy. You guys really love talking about that pretty boy. Funny, but my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. We have spoken to the head of the Union. Why is there a ca container belt around the dead man's neck? I have spoken to the dead man in a bizarre <laughs> occult vision. <laughs> You're involved somehow. I just don't have proof yet. Yep. I kind of <laughs> want to go straight to two and just like ignore that we've talked to his boss. Because we did talk to the guy that's over this union, right? Isn't that who we talked to? Mm -hmm. uh, Isn't that the guy that was trying to get us to break into that house? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's him. Evhart. Evhart. Yeah, let's do two. Alright. Is that a two for two? Yep. Container belt, like we use in the harbor? Yes, why? Because we took it from the harbor where we were. Then we went out back and used it to hang him. As he speaks, his fists contract, going through the pulling motion again, savoring it. We yeah. did this together, all of us, until he was dead. That's what? why there's a container belt around his neck. There's a catch hidden somewhere. He didn't confess so that you could take them all away. It's too simple. Squint your eyes, but there's a catch. Aha, so you just confessed to murder. That's it, the game's over. We got our perpetrator. <laughs> uh, uh, one... I like how kind of better the third one is. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's true. Case closed. <laughs> The <laughs> game's over. <laughs> we did it. Yay. Uh, one. Ah, uh, yeah, one. Yeah. There is no catch. These seven honest men have all equally come forth to tell you what happened so that you don't waste any more of your time. You murder him just like that. No remorse. Who called the shots that night? When did this hanging incident occur? Why did you kill him? How did you kill him? How does the bullet in his head factor into this? Why don't I just arrest you? Step closer to Titus. Mm -hmm. Lots of choices. Mm -hmm. you two. We got one for two. Four? Have one for four. Uh, two. Right. Are you deaf? There will be no singling anyone out. You can't arrest a hardy boy without arresting all hardy boys. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them all? Address Elizabeth. I don't have to. One of them has was more complicit than others. Address Titus. No, but seriously, who calls the shot around here? Mm -hmm. uh, 
that's a tough one. Um, I, mean, I don't think it really matters which one oh, they I don't think they're going to give us much to work with either way. Yeah, I'm probably two. Let's go with uh, two. 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 <laughs> Who do you fucking think does? Point at Titus. You do. You give the commands. Point at Elizabeth. I thought she did. Point at Fat Angus. <laughs> Uh, the biggest animal dominates dominates the herd. I'm guessing is the big one. The bow to the bearded man. Gangs are usually run by the oldest, most venerable member. Uh, points to the harbor. Everhart, Everhart Claire runs the union. You answer to him, right? <laughs> I almost want to say three to see the reaction. <laughs> Probably five. But I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of uh, feel like. It's, it's just weird. Yeah. No, I don't I mean, know if they're actually going to get anything out of them. I mean, I, I didn't really expect we would either way, but. I, I think if we say three, we might get a reaction out of them and. <laughs> <laughs> it might tell us something, but I don't mm -hmm. know. He might just laugh it off, though, because it sounds kind of like we're being just goofy. Um, I kind of wanted to say one. Wait, are there more options? No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. I, I would just say five. You got a vote for five. I'm still saying three, but Robert says three, I had, and I had said one. All oh right. well, well, well. Okay, well, um, I'm going to, hmm, I think I'm going to show throw out. I think I I think I'm throwing out five. Okay. Um, Graham going with one, Roberts with three still. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do three. <laughs> All right. The sweaty man turns red and looks first down, then around him, apologetically. It's not the fat ass. Titus runs the Hardy Boys, genius. That's why we're called the Hardy Boys. <laughs> that right, fellas? There you go. I think you got your answer, Mr. Law. <laughs> Mr. Law, is that my name? <laughs> yes, there are some administrative differences. But on that <laughs> night, they all acted as one man. Um, we're, we're so it was hard. <laughs> hmm. What? Uh, three. I thought we got number three. Yeah, three sounds good. Yep. You don't have to keep answering his questions. I know, Lizzie. Relax. We killed him last Sunday night. Seemed like a good way to end the week. How long had you know you known the victim? Understood. Next question. One. One. Why oh, not? Sh oops. Yeah, shit. my ear off. I'm sorry. I, I, I clicked. Ah, uh, no. Let me get back up. Don't have to. I know, All right. Lizzie. Relax. Known him? We don't associate with scum like that, asshole. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think we are? <laughs> this guy's strange. Quiet. He came around about weird, three boys. weeks ago when that Pines cow first sailed into town. Happy? By the Pines cow, you mean Joyce Messier, the representative for White Pines? The same company you are striking against? <laughs> no. I mean the Pines cow. The stupid ass cow they sent in to fuck us over. But you know what? Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? I'm sure she has interesting things to say when you ask her hard enough. That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. Officer. Your interview is drawing to an end. Don't waste your last questions. Mm -hmm. I say six. 
Yeah, yeah. that's why I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Huh? There was a bullet in the dead man's brain. Why was it there if you hanged him? How the fuck do I know? Anyone could have shot him. Target practice, maybe. <laughs> He's tight lipped suddenly. This line of questioning is over. You got the cause of death already? Hanging. If there's any post mortem trauma, it's your problem. This will not turn into a cross examination. Oh. They really want us to think it's a hanging. Well, they're obviously trying to cover something up. Yeah. Yeah, somebody shot him, so they hung him. Uh. Seven. The thing is, I think they. Oh, I think we can ask all the questions, don't we? And that's going to probably end it if we do number seven. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, let's say uh, four. I can go with four, yeah. Yeah, why not? See what happens. Why? Because he was worthless mercenary scum. And he stepped out alive in my town. So we had, he was a mercenary. That's it? So he one. was a mercenary. That's it. Glad to hear. We, glad we cleared that up. Okay, we got one vote for one. Yeah, one. Yeah. And he stepped out alive. What kind of mercenary? Mm. The kind that shows up when you start a strike. The experienced kind, too. Had Kohoi and Semenin written all over him. Ex Oranese Special Forces. A live grenade. Right here in our bar. I can't prove it. But I know he was sent by the Wild Pines. They hire merc shit like that. Story of every strike from here to Samara. Hold on, how do you even know he was special forces? Right, but what did he actually do wrong? <clears throat> One. Two. Uh. One. Because one night, he walked straight up to the mic and said... I'm on these goddamn special forces, and I'm gonna fuck you all. Really? Yeah, really. Had a gin and tonic up there, sang some Oranese paratrooper song, and said he's gonna fuck everyone. We couldn't believe it either, but he fucking did, right there, like some kind of animal. <laughs> that's that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like bullshit. Right. <laughs> but what did he actually do wrong? Wrong? He harassed women, raped one, harassed workers, oh. threatened huh. to kill some as a warning. There's a slight unease in him suddenly. He regrets mentioning the rape. Mm. Ah. To kill us all, if we don't open the gates, if we don't let the scabs in, if we don't bend over. And that was before he started coming here. Yeah, he said it was his favorite joint now. Started coming here every night. Drinking, grabbing girls, grab one of ours mid-karaoke, right there on the stage. He grabbed someone? Yeah, this girl's on the mic, a beautiful girl, young. Gets into the second verse of Love a Lake, the fucker grabs her legs, starts screaming. Show me your cunt. Why don't you show me oh, your geez. cunt? Then, he gets knocked on the head with a wine bottle. Doesn't even fall down. Was well, this the same girl who was sexually assaulted? Raped, you said? Okay, then. Now, about the man you killed. One. One. Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before anything else could happen. Yeah, me and Eugene got her out. Aren't you fucking listening? Right, but who did he he rape then? This is a very serious allegation. Two. Two. No, you're not getting a name. 
That's a Martinez matter. I'm not discussing it with you clowns. There's nothing you can do for now. He's stonewalling you. All right. Mm. I say there's seven or eight. Um, seven. Seven. All right. Yeah, lawman. Why don't you? Not in the arresting mood? A fearful readiness, like an electrical charge, raises hairs in the room. By your side, the lieutenant keeps his hand away from his holster. You hear the nylon of his coat hiss as he steps closer. While the little rat-faced man reaches into his sleeve, there's a knife in there. Some of the others reach for their belts. Their eyes are light. You confess to murder. I'm taking you in. Step even closer. Easy now. Let's just talk. Back off. Uh, 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 I'm not gonna uh, lie. I really want to see what happens if we. I do too. I just think we're gonna get messed up. We got lots of health. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one. <laughs> Fuck it. One, it is. One. Oh, jeez. Do this. This might be a bad idea. Here we go. Look, coppers. I know you think you're doing your job here, but there are seven of us and two of you. We reeled a, a holstered firearm. I know. Okay. So you're under arrest. Grab his wrist. The little guy was right. I'm not in the resting mood. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna go bad if we try to arrest him. It's gonna go so bad. It definitely is. Um, one, <laughs> one, do it. The last yeah. thing you hear is a little murmur, <laughs> not a blast, not an echo. No one screams. Oh Jesus! It's more dead cops. Oh, we got <laughs> as the bodies of two police officers are found floating in the canal. Two, they it killed both. The officers were pursuing a murder investigation, but got caught in the dock workers' strike and were gunned down under unclear circumstances. <laughs> Such needless loss of life is truly tragic, a local union leader, Everett Clare, commented and added that although the event mm. is truly horrid, we can expect similar incidents to follow if right-wing vigilantes are allowed to run around uncontrolled and try to wriggle their way into well-organized neighborhoods. Jesus. Well, we died. So much for all the health. <laughs> they just uh, straight up murdered us. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Oh, jeez. Did we not lose? Did we lose all of that? Looks oh, like there wow. was no saying. Oh, no. How long has it been? It's not been that long. We just need to, to repeat the... Well, let's see. Jeez. Hopefully it's saved after we finish the stuff with her. Yeah. All we did after that was hit, go to the ice cream machine and... Uh, investigate... Oh, okay, we it didn't save before then. That sucks. Damn it. Oh, we can just oh. repeat her answers with her real quick. Yeah, let's see what yeah. that real quick. What have you found? Let's see. Uh, yeah. Talk to the entity. A novelty dice maker? Well, spit it out. Why does she need the dice? She's not the one to be blamed. I don't understand. Before you say anything, just don't say you don't have any. We lied, answers. right? Yeah, yeah, we lied. Horrid. Tell me. Did you find a way I to break the curse? What does that yeah. mean? All that matters. Thank you, officer. All right. The shop okay. around you feels ancient. Okay. There we go. We did that. Did we spend the point? He, we put it into drama. Into drama. Yep. That's right. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Let's try to get through the conversation again. <laughs> oh, Lord. Most of it is just gathering more. Well, you gotta talk to her for a quick save. Say. That's a good idea. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, real quick. Let's look at that. Look at that. Jeez. And look at the window. Hmm. 
Okay. Talk to her. Do we want to go through all Let of it or me just handle this? You are far from home, Lieutenant. This isn't a district known for its love of self proclaimed Yeah, we did that. You are looking we for that. that title. It doesn't matter. She says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. Yeah, I, just, I think we ask her all of this, so I don't know if any of that will come into play later, because sometimes it gives you little bonuses. Yeah. So just start Obviously, I'm a lawyer. What you want is of hmm. What are we going The union is... Mm -hmm. If anything, it is the RCM. Aggressive. Do Doc, we've talked to him. Listen. Fuck you. So ask what you came to ask, or get back to your commander. Oh, that's right. We did the... Oh, yeah, we got to do the... The a good four. start. <laughs> Look, I can... Strange. It's as if people don't believe <laughs> a cop could be a socialist yeah. revolution. All right. Let's All go right. talk to Titus. Look at Oh, uh, I guess I can't do the window right now. Oh, yeah. Interact with the window real quick. Behind the Just door in case that's... A ceiling height window. Same. The whole Just do squint real quick. The glass. There's a little slide panel up there. To let okay, some air that, that's all. <laughs> do a quick save. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. This is where you say your bed. <laughs> Oh, we went through. We want to basically go through most of it, but the same way, except back off at Detective. the end or not try to arrest him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't say, say anything, anything yet. Hey, hey, dipshit. Cross your eyes. Hey, asshole. We are looking for Titus Hardy. I see. You're talking about the man oh, hanging. Death? You should. Oh, yeah. Was... I can't. You might want to. Questions? To hell with Scan that. the room. Get right up in the Yeah, big, definitely big scan the room. No, no, no. I... Yeah. Relax, Dennis. Yeah, mm. Dennis. Let Dennis enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, fellas. Too late. You already scanned. Picture what? Here. Okay. You could take another look at the tracks. Okay, the so we get aggressive. On the crime scene. Yes. Compare it to these guys. The room is silent. Get further. In Tilt the head. What the fuck is this? Shift you wait. wanna fuck with Shift me? Wait. His eyes now. This guy's tough. Engage what eye twitch. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I can do this. Do not explain or defend yourself. Okay, which one did we do Attack. on this? I think we did uh, oh, three. We did three. Yeah, we did three. The moment ends. All right. Hangman With in the backyard. With begrudging respect. The, the pretty boy. Funny. But my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. I see. I think we did two. We did, we did two. two. Container bill. Because as he's we did. There's a catch hidden somewhere. He didn't confess so that you could take them all away. Okay, we did it's squint your eyes. Yeah. yeah. There is no catch. These seven honest men have all equally come forth to tell you what we are did you dead? Who calls do the shots? Do you shot? think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them all? Wait, what, who do we talk to? I think we did. We did two. two address Titus. Yeah. Who do you fucking think? And then we did does? the fat man. Yeah. yeah. The sweaty man. It's not. I think. Yes, there are some administrative differences. <laughs> but on that night. When did it happen? Don't have... I know, Lizzie. Relax. How long have you How long long known yeah. him? Yeah. Quiet. By the pipe. No. Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. Why did you go? How did we did Officer, how? The interview is drawing to an no, end. We did we... Uh, how, we how did the bullet questions. in his head? That's what we yeah. did. Huh? There yeah. was a bullet in how the fuck do I This line of questioning is over. How did you kill him? No, why did you kill already? him? Hang yeah. yeah, why? Yeah. Why? Cause he was I am. What kind of mo the kind of ch a live grenade. I can't prove it, but I know. Why so we asked about that? Like, really? Yeah, we couldn't believe it either. But he wrong. Here, the slight unease in him. Yeah, Kill the rape. Yeah. He grabbed someone. Yeah. Show me your cunt. Why don't you show me your yeah. cunt? Okay, then we yeah. asked about Archie. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and Eugene got her out. Ar no. There's nothing you can do for now. Okay. He's stonewalling you. Is this where uh, we... Did we go right into I this think, there? I think we went right into this. Yeah. Maybe, do we want to conclude the questioning or... Press it oh, and then... Yeah. I don't know if there's any point in pressing it at all if we're not going to follow through. Yeah, we'll just die. 
I'm, so, I'm thinking just eight. Toronto yeah. says eight. Eight. Right. Yeah, eight. Nothing. Your investigation here is done. Leave Martinez, go back to your stations where you belong. I think we're going to stick around, thanks. Some things don't add up here, Titus. I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess to first-degree murder. Even if it is a group responsibility, we're going to look into this. Good luck with that. You've heard everything a rent -a cop is gonna hear from us, real law officials. You're lucky you didn't get a beaten. Forget about their games. You've mapped out the characters. Reading the footprints in the yard should be easier now. Oh. I don't know. Oddly. Wait, that... what, wait, why did it say that we can read the footprints now? Because we uh, sized the room up early on. Yeah. Oh, nice. Godly. Oh, I didn't know that went that level. <laughs> yeah, we can <laughs> our establish authority. authority. Oh, jeez. Physical standoff winner. Well, that was nice, but we're <laughs> negative one week when you first met. <laughs> uh, you still haven't explained the bullet I found in the hangman's head. I don't know. I'm going to take off now. Let's go look at the print. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not going to get We might more. be able to tell something from it, though, now. Yeah. Well, honestly, the way arrests usually happen is we send off the forms to home base if we can right. just provide save evidence quick, this group did it. yeah yeah save quick save no oh. hey there's someone up there smoking oh is that oh yeah is that the lady we met yeah on? i think so still don't, don't know how to get up there yeah i remember we talked to her when we first left our room mm. we we said some things <laughs> <laughs> is this like the footprint? Uh, yes there are several footprints in the mud. Left there by there we go. Oh. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Oh shit. We got forty two percent. So it was two. all of them, but two. Yeah. Let's do it. Alright, here we go. Eight footprints have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Where else have we seen a gang of men in work boots? That's right. The hardy boys in the mess hall of whirling in rags. Go over them one by one. Mm -hmm. One, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 46. Just like Titus was wearing in his booth, this is the big dick, Titus Hardy, yeah. the one with the ball cap on his head. Interesting or continue counting? Interesting. Interesting. Is mm -hmm. it? They didn't even bother to change boots. Putting them on the scene is easy. Maybe even too easy. Mm -hmm. Two. Standard uh -oh. work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Either the blonde muscular guy, Glenn, or the young guy with a plectrum around his neck. Three. Hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 43. The inked banger, perhaps. Four. Standard work boot. Number 45. Or 46. Theo, the old smoker. You think you even see a tiny fleck of cigarette ash inside the print. Five. Another standard work boot. Reinforced toes. Number 44. Same as before. Either the musician, Eugene, or the muscle-bound blonde, Glenn. Six. Light as air. Same make of boot. But number 41. Small like a rat, shanky. I should have gotten this <laughs> earlier or count the rest. One. One. Better late than never, detective. The whole world is dark and the tracks burn in it with strange beauty. Seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot. Number 46. The imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Fat Angus. Carrying something? And the last one. Eight. Another standard work boot. Number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole. The right sole is smoother, more worn. Curious. A missing eighth 
Hardy Boy. Seven sets of tracks, right? The Hardy Boys were here. Eight, Eight actually. actually. That's all? Interesting. Then one of them seems to be missing. Anything else out of the ordinary? Light staff number 41 shoe. A heavy one, 200 kilogram print and print. An aberration, one sole smoother than the other. How old do you think these tracks are? <laughs> Three. Three. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the missing Hardy Boy. Wonder who he is. Do you have any ideas, Lieutenant? Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? A drummer? That's stupid. So one of the people we're looking for is a drummer? <laughs> two, two. Two. No, it's not. Forget I said it. We are not looking for a drummer. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Nod softly. I was actually thinking the exact same thing. Interesting. If only I'd come up with that idea. One. One. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Yes, prudent. I'm not sure. We don't have a, a tr we we don't want to attract too much attention. One. Uh, one. We already attracted attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do light step one. I was thinking two. We probably can go through both. Yeah. All right, two. 200. This could be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up. Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built armored man. Maybe it was a fat hardy boy, the one sitting in the middle. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. You're right. The fat guy from the booth was carrying the victim. Maybe it was a giant? <laughs> It could have been a, one extremely obese person. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. But maybe it was. Just imagine it. A giant man, at least two and a half meters tall. You're probably right. It wasn't. One. One. <laughs> It could have been, but if it wasn't... He waits for you to say, You're right, the fat guy from the booth is carrying the victim. <laughs> <laughs> what? Probably, uh, yes. Yeah. This would also fit with the victim being dead from a previous gunshot wound. They had to carry him, because he could no longer walk. Is there anything mm. else that's not worth you here? Do we want to look at the first Yeah, one? let's do one. I'm guessing that's sure. the skinny hardy boy. The one with his front teeth missing. You mean the rat-faced one? Yes. Probably not. One. <laughs> uh. Mm, one. Okay, one. Yes, well, he did look a bit like a rat. You're right. Mm -hmm. Do you think those prints belong to him? Yeah, uh, yes. Probably, yeah. Uh... I could still be wrong. But I'm probably not. <clears throat> How old do you think these tracks are, or we can leave? Let's do four, and then we... <laughs> A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller, who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. How do you know? I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last one day. Correct mm. again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. What do you think happened here? We've been through it all, all of it. Five. Let's get more of Kim's opinion. Five. What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. They all stood in a row here, 
and looked at the tree. But we know the victim had a bullet in his head. A more precise way to put it is, it was made to look like a lynching. We've been <coughs> purposely, purposely misled. By these tracks? Yes. We've been through it all. All right? Yeah. We get another point? We did. Are we waiting ready to spin? What did we finish? Prove your authority to Hardy, Titus Hardy. <laughs> was one of the new things we have. Yeah, it's based on authority, which is at negative three. Oh, yeah, our authority is so bad. I mean, hopefully after some of the ideas finish up, it'll be better, but, eh. Well, I imagine what we're wearing isn't helping either. <laughs> Lack of pants will do it. <laughs> Definitely not the shirt. The shirt's only improving things. Let's see. The pants stay off. It's the shirt. It is It is not the shirt. And the glasses. <laughs> the shirt and the glasses. Our, be are our not... beanie matches the shirt, though. I mean, I, I, I look at that shirt and I think that man has authority. That man fucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lack of pants. Uh, I think that man doesn't fuck. <laughs> Which is actually true to canon. That that man tells He's people divorced. he fucks while he actually does it. <laughs> uh, uh, are we wanting to spin points somewhere, or we want to hold on to it for now? Um, um, I'm kind of thinking maybe hold on to it, and you know, the next thing we fail, we'll put it in that. Maybe that's <laughs> kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. What, what? What? Are we going back, or what do we want to do? Uh, I don't think much will come of talking to them again, at least not yet. Well, they, we know they're an, an eighth person, so. Can we do anything with the fence? Yes. We, we, we've we never looked at it, but yeah, there's something we can do with it. Oh, let's look at it. Are we on board with that? Yeah, sure. Doing the you crime scene stuff should have done for slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Why am I looking at this? What kind of vehicle drove through here? Visual calculate. Reconstruct the movement. 8%. Not now. Leave. Why? Uh, two. Two. I'm sorry. I yawned. What were you saying? Two. two. Hard to say. <laughs> That's okay. it? Okay. One. <laughs> One. Cop habit. You look at everything. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Three. Three. Oh, gee, okay. Oh, we're going to fail this. And then we can put our point into something. Do you want to look at <laughs> if there's clothes to help us out before we... No. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's check it. Let's check the clothes. We might have we got one for yes clothes. and one for no. Ham? It's only 8%. I think no. Okay. All right, here we go. The time we just need it. An unknown event Holy shit! That took place some days ago. It's a message written in the language. Of we the rolled an eleven. Nice. Wow. We almost rolled a full twelve. So uh, it start. It, it started huh. there. Crashed. Reversed. Rook. It went away. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. The driver started there. And then accelerated straight into the fence, left a hole big enough for the Franco Nigerian cavalry, <laughs> according to the cafeteria manager. <laughs> the driver proceeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building. <laughs> before heading south, must have been in a hurry. A car drove through the fence. Is this connected <laughs> to the case? I think I got it. <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> One, sure. <laughs> you are correct. This is a rather motor carriage friendly city. Two. Two. I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic accidents waiting to happen in Martinez. With the jam right here on the roundabout. I would keep them separate. Hmm. You could follow the track south. 
There seems to be a canal there. See where they went. If you find the time. All right. I'm sure we want to follow track if we can. Yeah, let's follow it. Sure, no, why not? Where, so, it says, where do they continue it? It said south. I south. assume on the road south. <coughs> <coughs> Tell me if y'all see something or you just want to stop. What is... Wait. What is that? Putter sign down. <laughs> A crumpled billboard reading, Samaran butter soaks in the canal. Two ugly lines mar the bright countenance of the blonde boy depicted. All right, what is summer and butter? All right, we can do visual attempt to reconstruct what happened here. Is the visual calculus nothing from more? Let's see here. Uh, want to try to? Let's try to. Let's go for it. Why not? They uh, were lucky. Just nope. some tasteless advertising at the bottom of a canal. No use rubbernecking now. Do you want to see if... Uh... Yeah, what is butter? We rolled a uh... four this time. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, the boy on the billboard seems very happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's talk to that guy. Uh, hmm. let's see. This guy? Is that what yeah. you want? Oh. Yeah, sure. Good morning to you, officers. A burly man hangs out by the waterlock, carving up a generous serving of salami with an old hunter's knife. His eyes are fixed on a man stranded on the other side of the waterlock and on an enormous billboard that has fallen down into the canal between them. His posture is relaxed. Despite his powerful build and a knife in his hand, this man <laughs> resorts to physical intimidation only infrequently, if at all. First things first, what are you doing here, man on the water lock? Do you know what caused this wreckage? Point at the smash billboard in the canal. Leave. Uh, two. Got one two. more two. Two. I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that sign. Weird, huh? Then again, plenty of daredevil drivers in Rivershoal. Too bad it also takes a year and a day to repair anything around here. Especially a water lock. The rest of the coast is closed off till then. Do you know what's further down the coast? Can I have some of that salami? Point at his food. <laughs> <laughs> right. <Me> do. <too>. <laughs> It is salty. It is savory. It is chewy. The hangover only makes the salami more tasty. I think it would have healed us if we had any dip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Want some too, officer? Turns to the lieutenant. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody getting salami. <laughs> One. Yeah, one. Well, there's the fishing village, an abandoned fish market, a bizarro church. Not much use to the congregation, though. There always seems to be something wrong with it. Mm. Yeah, not really much else. Just bombed out ruins. <laughs> the church that's calling us. Mm -hmm. Right, bye. <laughs> I like salami, man. I the guess this dude. is the thing controls the... Oh, yeah, there's a the guy. There's a the guy stuck over there. Yeah. Where? How do we go south then? Because I never saw the tracks. Hey, go I'm back to the sign is, again. I'm guessing because he said there was uh, tire tracks on the sign. Yeah. Did yeah. they like, somehow use it as a ramp? I don't know how he got over here, but that doesn't make any sense. Well, I think the tire. Yeah, I think the car hit the sign somehow. Do we want to try putting a point into visual calculus and try again? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> I'm yes. okay with that. One point, please. All right. 
let's check our clothes and see if we got anything to help with it. We're at 17%. Oops. That's a good deal better. Let's see. Clothes. There's there we go. glasses, Bye. does it? You don't want to put that What do our current glasses do? Our uh, current glasses give authority. No, they oh, don't. No, take away logic. authority and logic. <laughs> Guys, watch out our smart glasses for our peaky glasses. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the only thing we have that's helping us. I don't think we have anything that's hurting us. All right, shall we? Let's do it. A crumpled billboard. 28%. That's right. We can do it. Two yeah. ugly I like those odds. Let's do it. All right, here we go. go. Just nope. some tasteless <laughs> advertising at the bottom of the canal. What do we no roll? Be back, back, back later, sign. Or all the seven. <laughs> we needed We needed two more points. Uh, oh, well. <sighs> The box. Yeah, check that out. We're getting some tear. What about the garbage thing? Yeah, yeah murky yeah. tear in there. Oh, fingerless oh. gloves. Everybody's wearing fingerless gloves. <laughs> what do our current gloves do? We're currently wearing the Fallen Ultra Series glove. Plus, one to half light. Let's put on the fingerless glove. Everyone agreeing? I'm not opposed. <laughs> Why not? We're wearing fingerless gloves. <laughs> yeah, I don't think until the this is down or the water lock is closed, I think we can't go across. Yeah. Okay. What's the that thing? The panel. A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. Loose wires dangle from the now vacant holes. In the middle is a lever. Beneath it, a small metal plaque. This panel usually closes the water lock, turning it into a bridge that lets you cross the canal. But there's a crashed Samaran butter sign in the way. Pulling the lever probably won't do anything pull the lever, pull the lever. <laughs> yes yes pull the lever you pull the lever all the way up until the metal clicks against the contact pins you hear a soft clunk then nothing happens push it harder release the lever one <laughs> one uh, one it can't get Nothing more happens. broke. A cold gust of wind blowing in from the sea interrupts the silence of the situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. released. The spring brings the lever back to its original position. You still need to close the water lock to get across the canal. Wasn't there a sign over there saying functionality will be restored on Wednesday morning? Mm. Pull the lever again. <laughs> Yeah, leave. Pull the lever. I assume we're leaving. Leave. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing we can do here. Yeah, All I don't right. think we can go find that until we... No, oh, let's talk to that guy. Oh, look at that. I want me to. I'm gonna look at the dodge real quick. Yeah, on the trash can. Get some tear. Um, Lots of tear. The boxes. Oh, what's that? I think this is a little. You see a Samaran street vendor surrounded by a motley assemblage of goods. When he realizes you're looking at him, his face breaks into a wide, welcoming grin. The name Sileng is embroidered over his breast pocket. Happy shopping, officer! Everything's cool here! What's so cool? Or Lee? One. One. Everything's cool. The goods are cool. The customers are cool. The place is cool. 
And one more thing, officer? From out on the bay, a cool wind gathers. It sweeps into the city, tugging at the textiles hanging around the stand. Some distance away, the sound of a tin can clattering across the street can be heard. You're very cool. Bang, 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 bang! <laughs> <laughs> really? Do you think I'm cool? I'm not cool. Whether I'm cool is unimportant. I have police questions for you. <laughs> uh, one. <laughs> one. Oh, yes! You got style! You got personal style! You know what you like. <laughs> I, I, I like no pants and no shit. He's <laughs> not lying. Menswear. Look around and browse. Everything looks cool on a guy like you. Take your time. <laughs> Don't get distracted by the flattery and funny man act. Questions. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of stuff are you selling here? The food packages you're selling have humanitarian aid written on them. How come? Where are you from, Ceiling? And then we got a, a rhetoric challenge. Persuade him to give you some money. Eight <laughs> percent. I'll look around. Thank you. Two. Two. You mean these delicious pre-packaged shelf-stable meal kits? Really easy to cook. No hassle. Really cheap too. Buy some. Try them out. I think one said not for resale on the packaging. <laughs> Don't play games with me, Hawker. What, what's going on? Okay, well, if they're delicious, it's okay. <laughs> uh, uh, one. Yeah, sure, one. No problem here, officer. I get all this from one of my suppliers. An extremely reputable guy. <laughs> Wait, Humanex, humanitarian aid. Does your supplier drive that Humanex lorry over there? Points at the lorry with the ju with the big Humanex sign on it. And who is your supplier exactly? <laughs> One. One. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's never seen the lorry in his entire life. <laughs> Look, officer, I'm just a retailer. You'd have to talk to my supplier if you got questions about the supply chain. That's how the game works. Interesting. <laughs> we got plus one on the, the humanitarian aid and macaronis. Uh, one. Got one yeah, Why not? Only the coolest goods in Revashol. I've got sneakers, speakers, extremely comfy pants too. <laughs> Try them on right here. No shame, only freedom. <laughs> Where'd you get those comfy pants? Do you have a, a permit to sell all of that? Is there a discount for cool officers like me? That's all then. <laughs> Let me ask you something else. Three. <laughs> <laughs> so we got one for three. What was... One. We got one for one. <laughs> one. I'm an entrepreneur, officer. I've got sources, buyers, suppliers, distributors, manufacturers, wholesalers. All extremely cool and above board. <laughs> two. Uh, three. We got one for two, one for three. Uh, three. No need for discounts at ceilings, officer. Everything's already on sale. Anything you want, 50% off. <laughs> two. Got one for two. two. Good joke, officer. <laughs> we don't have permits. Just economic freedom. Take a look around. You glance around at the crepit buildings, the miserable weather, the sidewalk strewn with sunflower seeds and a dust-choked air. It's beautiful. Beautiful freedom. Kim, is it true he doesn't need a permit to sell? Sweet, no permit means less work for me. Let's move on. <laughs> One. One. It is, yes. 
Anyone can set up their shop whenever they feel like it. That's right. No permits, no bureaucracy. That's why this city and its law officials are so cool. Wait, but what are we doing here if there are no permits? Looks at Kim and the police insignia on his sleeves. Okay, cool. No permit. Then it then it's cool. Two. Man, I don't know. One might be weird. One. <laughs> we got one for one. <clears throat> what do you think, Ham? One. If you wanted to be cynical about it, you could say we are here to protect the interests of property holders. I am not, however. My man, officer, you make all this possible. Without you, this climate would be extremely bad for business. You're part of the Gossamer State. A Gossamer State? You're right. This is cool. I'm part of a hip, thin, almost non-existent state apparatus. <laughs> <laughs> so, cool guys, protect the businessmen while everyone else lives in the ruins. I can take. I can think of a cooler things. I can think of cooler things. But you're a foreigner. I'm protecting the business interest of foreign of a of foreign nations. Oh jeez. Then I'm protecting the state lawlessness. I'm not an officer of law. I'm an officer of the of common anarchy. Okay, no permit. Then cool. One. Uh, uh, one, two. Okay, one. Yeah, that's the main thing about you. Freedom is great. It's what lets independent entrepreneurs like me sell quality goods at competitive prices. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we have to move on to something else. Yeah. yeah. Anything for you. So we can play <laughs> from, or we can try the rhetoric. Persuade I think him to the give rhetoric. Me are yeah. we actually trying to get a bribe out of him? Is that what's happening? Basically. Or are yeah. we extorting him? What do people... Things can be two things. <laughs> <laughs> do we got one for four? Yeah, let's do four. All right, here we go. No need nope. to dress this one up. Just tell him what you want. You, I want your money now. Oh, Okay. But why, officer? Because I am corrupt. I don't really remember how it works, though, being corrupt, I mean. <laughs> I don't know if it was just the only thing I could come up with in my head to ask you. I need to get money somehow. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. Ah, yes. Money is very important. Are you trying to ask for a bribe? If so, you're not doing a very good <laughs> job. <laughs> Sorry, detective. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I think we're done. Yeah. Unless we want to buy comfy pants. Speakers from the people of Samara. We got... Not for sale. This is food gift oh. from the people of Messina. Alright. Do we want to look at any of these things, or we want to move yeah, on? Yeah, let's see what let's see what look stuff at the speakers. We got. Let's look at the box. Let's look. You see two lowly I'm defeated sorry, I didn't speakers, know which meant. thralls, slaves basically, perched atop them like conquerors surveying the land. A pair of found durable wear sneakers, ultra serious. I can see you were tasteful luxury officer. Can't keep your eyes off those sneakers. Inspect the sneakers or inspect the speakers? Uh, inspect the speakers. Sneakers. One's for sneakers, one's for speakers. What do you think, Ham? Speakers. You just say speaker? Yeah, two. These once respectable speakers have been conquered, reduced to a mere prop by the indomitable found ultras atop them. A small heat emboss on the veneer reads, Solidarity aid from the People's Republic of Samara. The speakers themselves don't seem to display any magical qualities. No, no, don't look at the speakers, officer. Look at the sneakers. The sneakers are the stars here. 
Okay, I'll look at the sneakers then. What about the speakers, though? Doesn't anyone want to, those speakers? Poor little speakers. Pack, pat them. <laughs> yeah, three. <laughs> three. Three. No, don't pity them, officer. These are old Samaran <laughs> garbage. Don't even look at them. Check out these super cool, fun ultras instead. <laughs> Inspect the sneakers, or can I just buy those sad Concord Samaran speakers? <laughs> Three. <laughs> no way, officer. These aren't for sale. They're bad speakers. Low-fi socialist junk. <laughs> but I need some speakers. <laughs> that's, that's why I want them. I think I might be low-fi socialist junk myself. You're right. <laughs> I don't have time for junk. I, I lead a luxury life. Two. <laughs> Two. Uh, no, yeah. sir. You're a high class policeman who accepts nothing less than the best. Lucky for you, I've got the best on sale. You don't know what I am. I don't even know it myself. Pause. Pause. <laughs> I want the speakers. Wait, what if I do deserve more than a lo fi socialist sound system? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> Did we add one for one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, one. Well, if you want them. <laughs> but see, they are the pedestal for my sneakers. If I let go of the speakers, where will the sneakers go? I can't leave premium lifestyle sneakers on the ground. If, on the other hand, you wanted the to fuck? buy the sneakers too, I could maybe throw in the speakers for a little extra. 50 cents? 50 cents? <laughs> That's for the speakers. Yeah. Shall we inspect, inspect the sneakers? A pair of found ultras. The design is impossibly sleek and simple. A futuristic silhouette with a sleek monochrome colorway, a jet black upper, and a silver lined midsole. Those sneakers, mister. Those sneakers are the latest found sneakers. Super air, super fine, super cool. Only 50 real. Oh, jeez. 50 real. I need those found sneakers. Plus one reactor, plus one high in the right corner. Minus one encyclopedia. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the money for that. No. Nope. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, I got to write down the line about the speakers because that's, that's got to be a future title. <laughs> <laughs> what did it say? It said uh, lo-fi socialist, socialist junk. junk. Yeah, go back. Uh, can you scroll up? Yeah. Yeah. Lo-fi lo socialist junk. <laughs> lo <laughs> uh. Social... Okay. Uh, all right. I think we're are we done here? Yeah. We don't yeah. have fifty dollars. Let's, let's, let's go sell our our trash, and maybe we'll have enough. <laughs> we we still need twenty dollars to pay for rent. Yeah. It's but still we can early, go. Yeah. We, can, we can still go sell. Yeah, we probably should. We're getting close to the end anyway. For the yeah, end. let's go sell our stuff and see where we're at. Sell the tear. The tear machine stands in the corner. Your bottles clunk into the machine. <laughs> and the money appears <laughs> with a satisfying jingle. Oh, well. Your... Yep. Six, we got Not much. Ten cents per tear. <laughs> Anything we want to look at before we call it a night? Um... Mm -hmm. What did we get accomplished there at the end? <laughs> Like, other than investigating those people, we've kind of not made a lot of progress. And we died trying to do that once. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, y'all want to look at Titus, see if anything's changed, or we got any other options before we... We don't have don't to do them. I don't think we can do anything with him. Yeah, I don't well, expect to get... Other than bringing up there an eighth person. Yeah. Yeah, but... But oh yeah, because we haven't looked. In I don't know if we should let them know that we know there's an eighth person. I think we're better yeah. off just trying to find them. 
Mm -hmm. I, I feel like they are hiding that person for some reason. Their whole yeah. plan was they can't take us all in. Uh, so the numbers would be on their side. <laughs> they can't stop all of us. <laughs> and, and they're right. We can't, but... <laughs> It's like when <laughs> people tried to like run a area store there if you want. They can't stop us all. Yes, they can. <laughs> if 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 only they would use that energy for the big communism instead of storming Area Fifty One. <laughs> the biggest <laughs> communism. The biggest communism. I completely but if forgot they, if about. If they had just Naruto run, they would have yeah. made it. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about all of that. Oh my god. When was that? That was a while ago. 2019. Uh, it was before COVID, right? Yeah, yeah. it was. This Jeez. is this is what the world was like before everything broke. Well, shall we call it a night? Yeah, yeah that's a good spot. A good spot. Stop. Uh, uh, well, it's hopefully been next fun. time we won't die. Yeah, maybe we won't get murdered. Uh, was, get ourselves and kill murdered. That is the first time we've lost the game from physically dying. Yeah. I so I'm impressed. Having a mental breakdown. That's, that's progress. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, well, oh, it's been fun. I don't know if we learned a lot. I mean, we learned some things. I don't think yeah. we progressed but too much. I think we learned a lot about the investigation. That's true. We also learned there was a car that broke the fence. Oh, that's true. We did learn that. And a billboard, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Well, say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.